This is an introduction to how you go about creating an ADSL dataset using Adam, and it also shows a possible introduction to a company-specific approach to creating Admiral package extensions. So the first place we start is via the Admiral website, where if you, if you navigate to user guides and click creating a basic ADSL, you will see this vignette that shows you a guide to how to create an ADSL using Adam functions. After each section of code, it also shows you an output data set, which will show you what each uh, function is creating in the data set. We recommend reading through all of this vignette first because it will help you to build familiarity with the Admiral functions that will be used as part of the ADSL template. Next, once you finish reading, you should navigate to an R session and use the use AD template function from Admiral to create yourself an ADSL template. The ADSL template will look something like this. Um, at this point, we should note that these templates are just a guideline. They're just to be used as a starting point to show you how Admiral function calls could be used to build uh, a certain Adam. Uh, for a start, you'll see that we use the Admiral.test test data here, which would have to be replaced by your study STTM. And also, you'll have to replace the function calls with your study specific requirements. For example, if you see these group in section, it's very generic. It's things which we've given examples, but you'll have to update to your company and your study specific needs. An important point to mention at the start is that all downstream Admiral functions beyond derive vars DT and derive vars DTM, they all expect to receive a DT or DTM variable for dates as input. Whereas in STTM, we receive DTC, ISO 8601 dates. So it's important to pre-process at the start to create any DT or DTM variables that you're going to need to pass into later Admiral functions. And then you'll see that as you go through the code, it very much mirrors the ADSL vignette in showing you step by step how to build up your ADSL dataset. Another important point to call out, which we often get questioned on by new users, is to look at the example of the last known alive date derivation. Here for this function used, we actually expect source objects to be passed in. So for example, if you're using dates from AE, you need to pass in an AE start date object where you're telling Admiral which date to use. Or in this, uh, this case for labs, we even tell an admiral how to filter the data set as well. And then when you pass them in to this function call, um, it can then work out the maximum of these dates as used in uh, last known alive date. And then if you scroll down, it has some more examples of functions and, and derivations you may use, and it saves the data set at the end. Now we wanted to give you an example of, of a company specific package extension. So this is how we've gone about doing this for Roche, but each company is free to make their own choices. So if you do the use AD template again, but you now use this argument package equals Admiral Roche, you would get a slightly different looking ADSL template. So for a start, you'll see that there's um, some different packages called and these are packages which are other open source packages from either Tidyverse or, or the Pharmaverse. If you'd like to know more detail about things like Metacore, Metatools, Exporter, we recommend you navigate to the Pharmaverse.org website. And if you click the exa examples at the top, you'll be able to see uh, examples such as this of ADSL, where it explains step by step what's being done by each of the other packages outside of, of Admiral. So Roche has made the choice to use these packages, but not all company have to. You can choose whichever packages are appropriate for your needs. And then if we navigate through, you'll see that it, it's very similar to the uh, Admiral ADSL template, but Roche has made specific company choices in line with our global data standards. So for example, here you'll see certain partial date imputation rules are, are being applied. 
Besides that, as you scroll through, it's very similar, just that we've made choices in line with our standards, and we've also added certain functions which were for Rush specific rules, which wouldn't have been relevant for the rest of the industry. So in doing this, you can see from these examples how to create a generic ADSL, which could be a useful starting point for the whole industry, which comes directly from Admiral. But there's also an example of how at a company level, you may go about creating your own targeted version of ADSL, which is in line with your company standards. Thank you for listening.